So today we're at Home Depot because we're gonna buy some um, sheet metal so we can make the funnel uh, for culling the birds today. Okay, so essentially in order to make a kill cone, um, we're gonna need uh, a somewhat large piece of sheet metal. Um, we're basically gonna twist this around until it makes a cone, um, and then we'll kind of rivet the inside of it just to keep it in place. Okay, so just kind of like a funnel? Exactly. To just stick the chicken in? Yeah, the chicken will go in head first. We'll leave a little hole at the bottom so that his head and neck can uh, slide out. How much is this? This one, this, this piece this one, is $10.65. Uh, $10.65? Okay. All right, not bad. Okay, so now we're building the kill cone. This is the 36 inch by 24 inch piece of sheet metal that we purchased at Home Depot. Um, and I will say, like with any job, uh, if you have the right tools, it makes everything much easier. Uh, the kill cone is going to require us to cut some of the sheet metal. So we'll start off by finding the center point of our piece and we're going to go ahead and mark it here. This is 36 inches long, so the center point is going to be at 18 inches. We'll mark that there. Once you mark off the center point, you're going to want to measure uh, roughly about 6 or 7 inches from the center uh, to the right and also to the left. Um, so we'll do that now. So once we have that all measured out, basically what we do is we draw our line from here to the corner. It's really bright out there, so I'm moving into the shade so you can see my lines. So to recap what I did, I found the center point of my piece of sheet metal. I measured out six inches to the right, six inches to the left. Then we drew lines all the way to the corner on both sides. So now we're just gonna cut. Uh, I have some sheet metal scissors here, and I'm just gonna cut along my lines. If you've ever worked with sheet metal, you know that the edges can be sharp. So what I like to do is kind of fold the top over to create more of a rounded top. And that way you don't have to worry about cutting yourself or anything like that. So I'll show you how to do that. So now we'll need to drill some holes for the rivets. Okay, so now you have your rivet. Then I'll put your rivet in the hole that you just drilled. Push it all the way in. Make sure everything's flush. Okay. 
So as you fasten the rivets in place, you can begin to remove the clamps. Kill cone.